Breaking news, breaking news. Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Lockdown, lockdown. I want to thank Kevin for getting this information to me. Unattended rent, rental truck has been found downtown Oklahoma City in a populated area. It is a stolen vehicle. They are evacuating right now. So once again, lockdown. Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Why? Because there's a rental truck there sitting there unattended. It is stolen. And so they are locking down the situation. We're going to keep an eye on this. Before you jump to conclusions that this is a continued terrorist attack of some sort, let me remind you that it was April the 19th, Friday, 1995, that the Oklahoma City bombing took place. An explosion at the Alfred P. Murrell, Murrell Federal Building in downtown Oklahoma City killed 168 people, including 19 children under the age of six, and over 800 people were injured. Now, we've had the Boston Marathon explosion Monday, this week, April 15th. We had the Waco siege also on April the 19th, 1993. We had the Oklahoma City bombing also April the 19th, 1995. We had the Columbine shooting April 20th, 1999. And we had the Virginia Tech shooting April 16th, 2007. And recently, we just had the Boston Marathon bombing April 15th, 2013. Domestic, a uh, horrible, and then I'm not even, you know, but let's not think this is domestic. Remember, Al-Qaeda, remember, Al-Qaeda is, is very, very much angry and are threatening. Remember Iran and its constant threats even of World War III here recently. Remember North Korea and the constant threat of annihilation and nuclear uh, attack on America. So there's, and, and don't forget, false flag, new world order possibilities. You want to create panic, just stick an empty truck downtown Oklahoma City almost on the eve of the Oklahoma City bombing and leave it sitting there and say it's stolen and create some chaos. We don't know, maybe it is. Maybe there is something in the truck. Maybe there's nothing, but it keeps the conversation going away from Al Qaeda and focuses everybody on right wing conservatives. And you might say, Pastor Begley, you're just overreacting. No, I'm not. The examiner.com is reporting, and I'm gonna thank Joe Kane for getting this to me, but Atlanta can, Atlanta, look, the military is training their recruits now that the four most dangerous terrorist groups are evangelical Christians, Catholics, Al-Qaeda, and Hamas. What? What? Evangelical Christians? What have we done? Catholics? What have they done? Oh, I know, you're going to say, Crusaders. Folks, that's 800 years ago. We're, we're not doing these things. These things are over. We've stopped all that. The Muslims haven't forgotten. The Muslims are still play, acting like it's the Crusaders. So the right-wing uh, conservatives, the Christian evangelical leaders, pastors, talk show hosts, Patriots, Alex Jones, Paul Begley, Glenn Beck, throw in, then just go ahead and throw in Jack Van Impey, Perry Stone, Hal Lindsey, Rod Parsley. Just go ahead and throw, you know, everyone that's, you know, preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. Bible prophecy preachers are really being targeted as being fear mongers and right wing conservatives are being and even are, are right wing conservatives are being are being called you know not fear mongers but uh, 
I forgot the term they're using, but it's similar to that. Alarmist. They're called alarmist. And survivalist. And patriots. And as, and as, it, you know, look, it was President Obama that said, all you people want to do is just cling to your God and your guns. Well, maybe if everybody would quit trying to take away our God and our guns, we, we wouldn't cling so tight. Although... I'm going to stay at the foot of the cross right on and on as far as far as I'm concerned. But what I'm telling you is there's a, a there's an absolute assault on the media to attack and to label this Boston Marathon thing as domestic terrorism. We don't know. We don't know. We know the pressure cooker explosion and uses as an uh, as an explosive device is used by the Taliban is used by Al Qaeda. They're masters at it of blowing up people in a mob and in a crowd. So let's focus on the real enemy of America. It's not those of us who love America. It's not the patriots. It's not the evangelical Christians. It's not the Catholics in America. We love America. It's those who hate America. The spiritual wickedness in high places. It's those that are trying to rewrite the Constitution. Who are trying to shred it. Who are trying to make executive orders to get around it who are trying to oppress our freedom of religion, freedom of speech, freedom of expression, freedom to assemble, freedom to bear arms. Anything and everything that has to do with our liberation of our own God-given freedom. So we're going to keep an eye on what's going on. Again, Oklahoma City on lockdown right now. I'm watching closely. We'll talk to you. To, don't miss my show. It begins at 12 noon Eastern Standard Time. Don't miss it. Three hours of power. Just go to www.paulbegleyprophecy.com. That's www.paulbegleyprophecy.com. Or call the phone number at the bottom of the screen and listen on your cell phone for the first two hours live on Blog Talk Radio. What? Just do it and get focused. We got a lot to cover today. Dead birds, dead fish, dead cows, terrorism. Oh, my Lord. There is so much to talk about. We will see you later today.